Hello, good morning. How are you guys doing? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to bypass the electronic thermostat of Toyota Camry 2006, and this should uh, be applicable to down to 2014 Toyota Camry or even 15 and also goes to every other Toyota brands like Lexus, Skion and the rest of them as much as you have this same kind of wiring system so in some cases let's say you fall into a situation where your fan will not uh, roll will not uh, run and maybe for some sort of electrical circuit or maybe for any reason in as much as the fuse are not blown and you can actually find the fuse of the fan uh, in this very box here if you flip it this way you can see it right there as it says the fan main relay this is the relay but if you start checking down here you're gonna be seeing the fan somewhere so you can see the fan there that's 50 amps fuse so that 50 amps fuse right there, if you want to trace it down, it should be somewhere. I'm certain it's within this fuse here. So let me show you some which they've replaced because most of the times it can actually blow out. It's within here. So it's not within these small ones here. Except maybe it's just for a little uh a little uh control maybe for lower speed not for high speed because the higher the speed the higher the amperage it draws so let me go ahead and show you one that has been replaced because in order to replace that you're gonna be needing to lose these out and you need to do some of these things out and push this thing up where push this uh, fuse uh, box up where when you push it up where then you can find some of other screws that's holding it in place and you can slot it out so well in some case there are some that you don't need to lose uh, anything down here before you can be able to locate it but in this case here even if you've been needing to lose you just only have one turn here in some camera then you need to pull this really hard to actually get it out and replace it if that's if your fan is not blowing but if suppose after you pull this out and you test it and it's very very good then then there could be a problem with the electronic thermostat which I can't be able to uh, show you right now because I want this very video to be as quick as short as possible so let me go ahead and close this and show you the one which you've replaced on the one that had any issue before because this one can actually come uh, due to maybe some sort of a short circuit in the fan uh, wire or maybe someone short circuited it for no reason or for any reason based known to him so I'm gonna push it and it should clamp right there okay here you go this is the one for here there are two of them this one on top here is for this and in order for you to actually remove this one there are a lot of uh, uh, boat holding it in place there which you need to lose out before you get so for this one you can see if you look at it very well let me place it here so you see it. You can see that they tried, they attempted to rewire this one here. But this other one are still like it is. So if any of them is blown, you're gonna be replacing the entire one because you can replace this one only. Except if you decide that you wanna work on it, you can just slip, swipe this a little, drag it out. Help me for this camera, buddy this camera okay so you need to swipe this thing out before you can be able to rewire it if suppose you don't have money or it's an emergency situation you can rewire this one just like you see these guys rewire this one here but you don't need to make it to be thicker on this wire so that you don't get some other things damaged right there now we come to the second fuse when you're done you want to go ahead so that to avoid any short circuit you want to go ahead and slide this rubber in slide this rubber in now this is the second one which is this guy right here 
so this one you don't have to lose anything here this is the toughest one to lose because uh, after losing this turn here you still have like two three to lose out there but this one as long as you lose this turn it should come out so this one if you look at it if you look through this lens here, if you can see it very well then go ahead and pull it out like i told you initially all right but if you look at it very well now let's cover it if we cover it right now you can be able to see that any of these wires uh, any of these fuse are blown so the best way to be able to take a look at it very well is when you slide it open and if you slide it open you can see you can even use your multimeter to test between here and here setting it on continuity so if you check very well let me show you some trick here this tiny wire i'm gonna do a magic i need to slide between here you see it cannot slide because the the fuse is still there the fuse is still there but this one here you can see it's sliding in between so technically speaking this one will be needing to resolder all right before it can be able to work again and that is where it comes uh, into play because this one actually it could actually be that the designated one that's actually uh, working for the fan could be this one it could be any of them but it's rated 50 amps so it could be this thicker one it could be this one it could be this one but if any of them here is blown you have to replace it because it also has a, a control for your climate control system so but when we have you have replaced it and still the fan didn't pick up then that is when you're going to be using this last up Okay, I'm gonna be using this last option. So let me keep this aside. This last option is gonna to be to bypass the thermostat. Let me show you. Where is the, the uh, thermostat is not often very visible, but if you look down here, there is the wiring harness for this very fan here. And you can see one small little aside the, the uh, as you can see right now, we have white, and black tracer then you have a black without any tracer there then you have the signal wire which is just a small green wire you can see here so as soon as you cut this off using your plier or whatsoever then automatically when you put the this very car in ignition position this one will start spinning so let me show you example of it so let me go ahead and turn this ignition and let's see if this fan is going to spin without the car starting because normally how it's designed is only when the car has attained the operating temperature which is 90 degrees and if you want to get above that before the fan control module which is this guy right here it's going to trigger this fan to power on so that there will be no uh, blowing up the top cylinder head gasket for this very car so let me go ahead and uh, turn the ignition on and let's see if this fan is going to roll so let's go right there so here here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slot the key right here. The ignition is on. You can hear the fan humming right there. You can see it, right? So it's rolling because we cut out this signal. Uh, that's the what are the electronic uh, thermostat wire right there. So. When you do it like this, you should be able to help you. You should be able to drive the car home or to the nearest garage when you have the money to get this replaced. Because this fan is not gonna stop running until you switch off the ignition. So I think Toyota did a very good thing there. So guys, now that you know how to be able to bypass the fan and to be able to troubleshoot your fan that doesn't blow and know the right thing to do, don't forget to sus uh, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I gotta catch you guys later. Bye for now. Bye bye bye. Let me go ahead and turn this ignition off so it doesn't drain my battery. Think. Okay.